Samson's whereabouts should be known very soon. After that fool is dealt with, then I think it's time to go into the Arbor Wilds where Corypheus is currently seeking an ancient elven power so that he can physically enter the Fade. The war is entering its final phase. Once we have destroyed Corypheus, then we could put all our efforts into closing the last of the Fade Rifts and deal with the politics of Thetis. I assume the number one issue will be about who the next Divine will be. I'm sorry Cassandra, but I cannot support you in that role unless I have absolutely no other choice. The only problem is, no one knows a way how to destroy Corypheus since he apparently came back from the dead after Mary and Hawk killed him. I'm hoping that Liliana has a bit of an update. What's going on yes. in the world? Anything I should know? Selene has cemented power in Orlais. Good, we need an ally like her. At the moment, she's said to be rooting out the last of Gaspard's supporters. Once that is done, we will have a united Orlais behind the Inquisition. I'll leave you to your work. All right. Um, Inquisitor. Hello. Before I get back to the war table, Josephine, I have got to talk to Josephine. We're going to go south to Corypheus's enclave very soon. I'm going to order it done as soon as I get to the war table. Send our scouts down there to really find out what's going on. I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. And the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer gain. Aid Tevinter over Navarra, huh? What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a pentagast. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Nevara. As a pentagast, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentagast, her interest in politics is best described as... thin. So she won't really care. Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Redanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. <laughs> that being the case, I think playing politics... You have to go with what's best for everyone. I think we'll aid to Vinter. Tell the Archon the Inquisition will do to Vinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. Now to the war table. Seems word has gotten around about me becoming a Dragon Slayer. And because of that, the Inquisition is able to do more. Now, I've contemplated all the things that we can do to help out the Inquisition. I think in this case, uh, better training for riding. Riding our horses would be best. Okay. There's nothing in Ferelden at the moment. Let's read the report. Track down Samson. 
Inquisitor, we track Samson's remaining Red Templars escorting a supply caravan to a hidden location in the wilderness. It could be his headquarters. I expect verification before the hour is over. I've already begun preparing a squadron of soldiers to accompany us. Allow me to debrief you in person when your duties permit. Accept report. Now that we've tracked down Samson, and Cullen would like to speak to me, before we head south, send all our forces south, because it seems like United Thetis is ready. I'm going to go talk to Cullen in person, in private. This could be very important. Cullen, you wanted to speak to me? What have you found? We have him, Inquisitor. We found Samson's lair. My duties usually keep me here, but for Samson, I'll make an exception. I want the place raised to the ground, no matter the opposition. I will see it done, Inquisitor. We'll depart at your leave. Okay. Seems uh, before we head south, before we order everyone south, we have to deal with Samson. And that is quite possibly the only thing holding us back from attacking Corypheus. Now, he's looking for an ancient elven temple uh, through... The uh, an alluvian. He wants to enter the Fade. That's what he's been. That's what he went south for. But Samson, before the dawn, Samson is using the bodies of people to grow red lyrium and possesses powerful armor crafted from the crystals. Though Samson's armor seems impenetrable, there must be some way to weaken him. Let's go pay Samson a visit, shall we? Sandra. Vivian and Varric. This is it. The heart of Samson's command. I don't see him anywhere. Or hear him. Nor I. Maker, tell me he hasn't fled. It's such a large place and it wasn't found out before. We've got uh, something up ahead. A red Templar. What we classify as a horror. There's a bunch of them to the size. Looks like they're trying to make a last ditch stand here against us coming through. Let's take them down. Let me get to it. Take that. They realize that it's hopeless. All of Theta supports the Inquisition now. Corypheus is lost. Light him up. Lock in the doorway. Stay away from this thing. I don't want to hold this red lyrium for much longer. This place okay. is already half destroyed. Samson must have ordered his Templars to sack his headquarters so we couldn't. Sorry, Curly. Someone tipped off Samson you were coming. I think you're right. Still, we've dealt Samson a blow. Oh, well, that's just great. So it's like a half victory. We still need to take him down, take his armor. 
out and take him down. Another red Templars over there. Sure, they'd appreciate that. Consume them by fire and electricity. Stand a chance. Samson, be nice to find him here. Be stupid to remain, though. Let's see, he wants to go down with the castle. Hello, Inquisitor. You know me. It's Maddox. Samson's tranquil. Something's wrong. I'll send for the healers. That would be a waste, Knight Captain Cullen. I drank my entire supply of Blightcap essence. It won't be long now. We only wanted to ask you questions, Maddox. Yes. That is what I could not allow. I destroyed the camp with fire. We all agreed it was best. Our deaths ensured Samson had time to escape. You threw your lives away? For Samson? Why? Samson saved me even before he needed me. He gave me purpose again. I... wanted to help. We should check the camp. Maddox may have missed something. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. I was gonna say unlikely. It's on this table. Or off the table. Watch out. There's a letter here. Samson left a message for me. What does it say? Drink enough lyrium and its song reveals the truth. Chantry used us, you're fighting the wrong battle. <laughs> Corypheus chose me as his general and his vessel of power. Now there's such nonsense. <laughs> as if I would sympathize. Well, there may be something else. It's over here. I'm sensing something. <laughs> Lyrian bottles licked clean. Samson isn't committed. How much red Lyrium is Samson taking? His resistance must be extraordinary. Well, he sleeps in a bed right against Red Lyrium. Disturbing. I've seen what it does to people. Something else here. More notes? A letter? This must have been Maddox's room. The fire couldn't destroy these entirely. Whatever they are. I've seen similar implements for forging with Lyrium. None this advanced. Agnes should be able to make sense of them. If Maddox used these to make Samson's armor, she could use them to unmake it. Huh. We have him. Dagna could help us bring down his armor. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else here. This is still in the Orlesian border. They can use this place. That's what happens with old abandoned keeps and castles. We have to take them over and repurpose them. Red Lyrian. 
Okay, well, we'll head back to Skyhold. Speak to Dagna about what we can do. The Red Lyrium deposits are being destroyed, and we've cut the Red Templars down to the core. It's a pity Maddox thought his sacrifice was the only answer. But that leaves Samson with a severely curtailed army, and enchanted army he can't maintain. You did it. We both fought to make this happen. Don't sell yourself short. Well, I... thank you. But my work's not done yet. We're getting recruits by the hour. There's more than a few ex-Templars among them. We've struck a blow and given people hope. This is a true victory. Inquisitor, I finished it. Are you talking? Sorry. Have it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this rune? It's not just any rune. I made it with red lyrium and what's left of poor Maddox's tools. The rune acts on the median fissures of lyrium to... It'll destroy Samson's armor. He'll be powerless. We'll cut Corypheus off from his most powerful officer. Maddox covered Samson's tracks thoroughly. But wherever Samson's retreated, we'll find him. Your army stands ready, Inquisitor. For Samson, for Corypheus, for whatever you command. We marched on Corypheus. Now. Samson is taken care of, at least when we meet up with him. He's done. What pride had wrought, the Inquisition is now a force to be reckoned with. Call its allies to rally their soldiers and march with the Inquisitor Lavalin's army to the Arbor Wilds, where they will face Corypheus' zealots one final time. The Inquisition must stop Corypheus before the Darkspawn Magister finds a long-lost elven artifact in the wilds that allow him to enter the Fade physically and claim its power. With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. In Redcliffe, I saw the future Corypheus built. We can't let that happen. It was always so, was it not? The madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it. All three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Tis why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel. No better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. And we will go south now. Every last one of us. Beric. Cassandra. Cassandra really should be at the war table with us. And I think Solus. This is the original group that we had when I first met 
Cassandra and Liliana. But Solus would know much about uh, ancient elven magic. And Cassandra needs to be at the forefront of this as well. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Make the monsters pay, Captain. Leave none standing. We shall not flinch, Your Worship. Not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. <laughs> <laughs> 